Okay, welcome back to part two of our pH acids and bases presentation. Might be a little bit of overlap, but uh, we left off near the pH scale. And so here we are. Remember that the pH scale is logarithmic. As I mentioned a moment ago, um, each whole number change is changing by a power of 10. And I think I was right here talking about bases. So a base with a pH of 13 is 100 times more uh, basic than uh, a, uh, a substance with a base, a basic substance with a pH of 11. So you move the whole number from 11 to 12, that's a change of 10, and then it's a tenfold change or 10 times a change when you get to pH of 13. So 10 times 10 is 100 times. It's similar to the scale that measures the strength of earthquakes. A Richter scale is also logarithmic. So let's just talk about <clears throat> a little bit about the concentrations of acids and bases. Um, so the amount of some uh, the amount of the substance in a liter uh, of water <coughs> is basically how um, the acidity or the baseness of of a substance is measured. Um, so something that is dilute, um, an acid that is dilute, would mean that there's fewer hydrogen protons per um, liter of water, you know, per molecules of water in, in a liter of water versus um, an acid that is concentrated, meaning there's a lot of hydrogen protons per every uh, water molecule in a liter of water. This makes a difference um, because a small drop of a very, very powerful um, acid, um, if, it's, if it's not dilute, so it's one drop of a very concentrated acid, could be very, let's just, I mean, to put it into personal uh, personal scale, uh, could be very damaging to your skin, to your, to your, to your health. Um, but that drop of concentrated um, acid, it say it has a pH of, of 1.5, something like that, really, really strong acid. But if it's dilute, if it's in a liter, a large amount of water, and the hydrogen protons are very spread apart, then it obviously wouldn't be as um, powerful, wouldn't be as damaging. So that's pretty much it. Um, you just have to know the the pH scale, know the range of the pH scale, understand that it is logarithmic, and um, keep those ideas of what something is, if something is a strong acid versus something that's a strong base, um, keep those ideas in mind. All right, thank you very much.